Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Federico, let's keep talking about the Gann case that uh, Senator Blackburn was just asking you about. This is a case where the sentencing guidelines recommended up to 240 months in prison. The guidelines range was 210 to 240. Do you r remember what range you or what number you asked for from the court as his attorney? I'm sorry, Senator, I don't recall the exact sentence. It's 105, so less than half of the lowest end of the guidelines range. Now, the government in this case said that it was being very lenient. I've just read their sentencing memorandum and yours. I have them all right here. The government said it was being very lenient. Do you remember what they recommended to the court? I'm sorry, Senator, I do not. 189 months. 189. You push for 105. Why, why is that? Well, Senator, I'll note first, uh, I've prosecuted those cases in equal number to the number I've defended. And so I have worked with victims, and I understand. Uh, so what would you say to the victims in this case who, let's just review, Mr. Gann, I'm not, I'm not going to read the specifics. It's too revolting. But let me just, here's, this is from the, the pre-sentence report. This particular defendant, this is sanitized, but it's still unpleasant. The defendant used multiple mediums to access, obtain, and distribute depictions of child rape bondage, and sexual exploitation. He used dating websites to meet people offering children for sex. He used email to send depictions of child sexual exploitation to his cohorts. Why, why 100 months? I mean, listen, you, you could have recommended any number of, I, I get that you want to defend your client, sure, but you could have chosen 175, you could have agreed with the government, 189, which they characterized already below guideline sentence and quite lenient. You advocated for 100. I mean, do you think that that's a sentence that does justice to his victims? You say you prosecuted these cases. Yeah, well, Senator, yes, you noted the difference between when I'm court appointed to represent them and zealously their interests compared to when I prosecute them. But ultimately, the decision as to the appropriate sentence in that case, like all others, uh, lied with the district judge, Judge Brooms. Right, but you made a choice to, to recommend and to advocate for a particular sentence, right? I mean, I'm looking at your memorandum right here. You, you did author it, I think, right? Uh, well, Senator, also, when formulating a sentencing recommendation, the client's objectives also weigh heavily upon what we would ask the court to do when it... Well, I'm sure the client would like to have zero time in prison. So if you were going to re just regurgitate what your client wanted, I'm sure he didn't want to be in prison at all. So some of the arguments that you made, you, you said that he had a work history that demonstrated that he was employable. Why should that result in a in a sentence of 100 months below the lowest guideline recommendation. I mean, how, do, how does that help his victims? I'm just, I'm trying to understand here why you advocated this sentence for this individual. Well, Senator, the uh, sentencing statute 3553A tells the district court that it must take into account his history and characteristics. Uh, and so it is my job as his court appointed advocate to present to the court information for it to take into consideration, things like employment. Uh, and so, so you're, to you're totally comfortable with this. You, you, don't, you don't have any regrets about this at all? Well, Senator, also as a defense lawyer, of course, when I am court appointed to represent someone, it's not a personal endorsement upon their conduct. It is my job under our Sixth Amendment. But nor are you an automaton, Mr. Federico. You're an officer of the court. You're a very capable attorney. You have to make moral judgments as a defense attorney. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah, of course. Yes. You have ethical obligations as a defense attorney. Wouldn't you agree? I certainly do. You have ethical obligations to the court as a defense attorney, wouldn't you agree? I do. Okay. So your, your brain is fully engaged. You have a moral responsibility to society. I'm just, listen, I mean, you, you can recommend as his attorney, you do whatever you want, right? But I, you're asking here for a lifetime appointment. So I think it's entirely appropriate we ask you about your judgment in these kinds of cases. This is a case with a defendant who committed very serious crimes against children and frankly contributed to a, a social problem so significant, this committee has recently passed major legislation, I hope will soon pass into law, that would overhaul our system with regard to this crime, and, and rightly so. So I wanna know from you, do you think that the sentence that you recommended does justice to his victims? Senator, I could not agree more about the problem. That's really kind of a yes or no question, I think. Well, Senator, again, on that case, uh, I recommended the sentence. Uh, weighing I know you did. Does, did it do justice to his victims? Uh, ultimately, it's the court that determined his... But you had to make a decision, Mr. Federico. You had to make a decision as his attorney 
and an officer of the court whether this was appropriate or not. I'm, I'm asking about your judgment here. So are you comfortable with it now in retrospect? Are you comfortable with that? Do you think that that sentence, 100 months, over 100 months less than what the lowest end of the guidelines was, 89 months less than what the government characterizes as a very lenient sentence, the court ultimately gave him 165 months, years more than you wanted, do you think that did justice to his victims? Senator, again, it wasn't my decision as to his ultimate sentence. It was my decision. I don't understand why you won't answer this question. I mean, isn't the answer yes, if you're comfortable with it as his attorney? You, you can't blink your own responsibility in, in making the recommendation, right? Well, Senator, I, I just don't recall in particular in that case. Uh, What's to recall? We, we've talked about all the salient details. I just read to you your memorandum. Well, I don't recall exactly how I landed on the specific sentencing recommendation that we made to the court. Yeah, that sounds to me like you know it was a bad idea. It was way low, way, way low, and now you can't defend it. And frankly, neither can I. And for that reason, among others, I'm going to oppose your nomination. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Rodrigo, did you say that you prosecuted cases of this nature as well? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have. How did you happen to end up as a defense counsel in this case? I was court appointed.